Hello there people, welcome to this new video. Today I will be showing you how you can get this level of scenery for absolutely free and with not that hard of a GPU load. Coming up! So let's get started with this tutorial. First thing you want to do is go to the description down below and download a program called Ortho4XP and when you, once you have downloaded that you can move that folder over to your xplane main folder. Now when you've done that open it up, go to the binary folder, scroll down until you find Ortho4XP.exe and launch that. So the first step once you've opened the program is going to this menu, the settings menu and make sure that you set the custom scenery directory to your custom scenery folder in xplane 11 and your overlay scenery for, uh, source to the overlay or the uh, global scenery folder in xplane 11 as well. Once you've done that hit apply and then you can uh, write the app configuration then it will memorize what you've just put in and it will apply it automatically in the next time you use Open for XP. So once you've done that, hit apply and exit. So first step is make sure that your base folder is set to the custom scenery folder or the uh, global scenery folder of Xplane 11 and just select the folder. Make sure you have this path set and then select folder like so. Now, my imagery is going to be from Bing, you can also select Google, uh, but I find that Bing is most uh, board level imagery. Uh, zoom level 16, uh, which is, you can get more detailed by pushing this up to like 18 or 17, uh, but the file size will be much larger and not worth it in my opinion. So after that you can open up the world map and you can select where you want your ortho tile so I don't have any scenery in Paris at the moment so I will do that so double click on Paris and then do shift click on Paris as well on the same tile Tile. if you want to do more tiles you can hold shift and click more tiles so but I'm only going to do Paris right now so Paris is highlighted right now then check all these boxes except the last one and then just do batch build that's actually all you need to do so you should see that a bunch of things are going to pop up over here just let it do its thing and wait for it to finish if you want to do the airports as well or have some different zoom levels at certain positions you can watch my other orvo 4 xp tutorial uh, which will be linked in the description and let's I will pop up a card right now so all you need to do is wait for it to finish so when that is done you should go to your main explain level folder then go to custom scenery and you should see that at this certain latitudes and longitudes yes here so when you found that this is your imagery folder so it's already in the custom scenery if not you should take a look at the in the orphan 4 xp folder itself go to tiles and it should be in here so once you've put it in the custom scenery folder open the scenery packs.ini fo uh, file and then just um, copy the sentence in the description and paste your longitude and latitude in there so in this case i'm just going to copy all of this as that is the same like so and then plus 48 plus 002 slash make sure that it's set up correctly done Okay, once that, once that is done, make sure you save the file, Control S or File Save, like so, and that's all set up. We can close this as well, so, like so. And now you can launch Xplane 11, but before we go and do that, you're not going to see any buildings or something like that. To do that, you need the overlay folder, so again, go to the main Xplane 11 folder. And now go to the Ortho4XP folder 
and then copy the Y author for XP overlays. Just copy it, Ctrl C. Go back to custom scenery folder and do Ctrl V. Now I already have that in here, but I'm going to replace the files in the destination as I already have some buildings like the, the mesh in there. So if you've done that, make sure that your Y author for XP overlays is above your scenery. So it has to be one level above right here, otherwise it won't work. So now you're basically all set up, you can launch up X-Plane 11 and you should get some awesome scenery. 